And uh, David is on camera. You are in the pre-show to the show, and so I will take this much more seriously when we actually go live. But for now, it's an excuse for me to mess around. Now, why am I in this area, you might be asking yourself. Why have I come to Galago Pan at this time of the morning? Well, the answer to that question lies in the sounds heard by a number of people in the night. Both Megan and Kirsten heard what they thought was something dying here during the course of the night. Now, I don't know if something did actually die here, or if there was just some kind of a wailing and gnashing of teeth. History doesn't relate. Anyway, we're going to look around here and hopefully find a predator of some description. There is a magnificent sight of a sunrise. Sunday sunrise. David, I like it at that angle. Let's leave it at that angle for the pre-show. It makes it look like the world is sliding off into infinity. Very nice. Marvellous. Pinkish. Yellowish. Glorious colours. Now, I don't see nothing here, so I think we're going to carry on towards Vuitana Dam. It's possible something was murdered in amongst these bushes here, and they so think that until it's daytime, we won't be able to go in there to have a look. So we have to drive around the outside now. Shongalai, the small leopard, that little one, she came into this area sometime during the night, we think. There was monkeys going crazy, bat crazy they were going. They were shouting and alarm calling and screaming at each other. Maybe it was Shongile, maybe it was Tingana. Nobody knows. It's so impossible to tell when you're sitting by the fire in the camp on the first parts of the winter. It's impossible to tell. So maybe there will be a little bit around here, but of course given my luck there will be nothing at all. All we will have is uh, pretty bushes Nice flowers, a couple of spiders, unidentifiable because there's so many of them, and a couple of insects. We might have a nice sunrise or two. No doubt Tristan will find wild dogs chasing leopards, possibly eating elephants. I guess I just, my, my luck is just not with me at the moment. Maybe David's luck is better than my luck. Hopefully that is the case. Now in 60 seconds, the show will start proper and this ridiculous human being talking to you now will cease to be on your screen for a little while and the next time you speak to him he will be talking in a manner that is not like the manner he's talking now through his nose and from the east end of London because we ain't in London is we David? No we are not we is here in a bush felt looking for animals of Africa so we should be talking like relative Africans as opposed to East End criminals or laundromat owners, whatever you might want to be. In 20 seconds you are going to go across to the very, very professional twist and decks to start a show and I hope it's a wonderful experience for you. I'll catch you on the flip side.